Hi everyone. It is not Tuesday, but some stuff happened yesterday, and I wasn't able to post the video. So that's the thing that happened, and now this is going to happen. So this week we are talking about influential years in our life, and probably the one most influential year, well, the most influential year was my freshman year of high school, so 2005-2006. And my mother's mother passed away. My mother's mother, yeah, it just sounded weird, sorry. Um, so my grandma passed away, and it was my first experience with death. And, you know, I've had, like, animals die and stuff, but it was, it was just weird to have someone who I just saw who had gone through so much that I've seen. Um, she just passed away. Um, she had, she had breast cancer, so it wasn't like she just up and died, but that's real sensitive, Danielle. Um, so it was kind of like a thing we knew it was going to happen. It was just, it was still weird not to be able to call her and stuff like that. So, um, it was really hard on me though, because I didn't find out until after she died that she was born in Austria, you know, the country in Europe, and she was Jewish. So the whole, you know, the Holocaust thing happened, and she had to leave. So her and her family traveled through Poland and came across to America, and they weren't allowed to bring a lot. So her and her mother sewed money into the lining of their jacket, jacket all for. It was her mom, her her brother, and her father. So they all had money in like the lining of their jacket, and they had to come over here. And apparently, they were really wealthy in Austria, but they had to leave behind almost everything. So they came to America and they had to start all over. And I didn't know any of this until after she passed. And it was just so hard for me to not be able to talk to her about it and not learn more. I mean, she was fluent in German. And I've always been obsessed with the German language for some reason. And just the Holocaust, too, it was, it was really surreal experience. I guess that's the right word. Because I've always had this weird interest in the Holocaust and that kind of time period and like Great Depression and that just, it was really interesting to me. And it turns out my grandma lived through it and it was just really hard for me not to know that about her um, and to find out about it and when I couldn't talk to her about it. Um, also, see what else happened. I had my first like friend fight. It was really weird. I never really fought with my friends, and then freshman year, I fought a lot with them. Um, that doesn't really go together, but whatever. Um, <laughs> and then the second most influential year was probably this year, because I really didn't get into YouTube until late December, early January of 2011, and I don't know, I just started watching people and I found out a lot about myself and that there were people out there that believed the same thing as I did and believed in the same things as I did and I didn't really find my religious core until I joined YouTube and it was really nice to actually just find myself, I guess. And, you know, those college years are there to help you find yourself and so I did. But it wasn't because of college. It was because of YouTube. So, yay. Anyway, uh, <laughs> yep. Those are my two most influential times in my youth. So, yep. And sorry for not making a video last week. Um, I got home from work around 3.10, watched some TV, did a little homework, and then decided, oh, I'm going to take a nap for about two or three hours, you know. Now this is, this is around 4.30. So I went to sleep. Didn't wake up until 2.30 the next morning. So I didn't get to dress up. I didn't get to trick or treat. I didn't get to hand out candy. I missed Halloween. Slept right through it. So there are no pictures of me as a prisoner and my dog as a sheriff. So, it was going to be so cute. Oh, I was going to go out and buy, like, a chain so he could, like, the leash could be a chain and he could, like, 
walk me around with handcuffs and it was going to be so cute. But no, I decided to sleep. So, that. Poop. Anyway, um, TJ, I will see you in like two minutes because your video is already up. So, yeah. And I guess. Lisa, I will see you tomorrow. So weird. <laughs> um, and as always, everyone, DFGBA.